The answer is 8. And the easy way to see that is to observe that 15 is 3 times 5. It's a composite number that can be broken down into two primes. And then if we look at the numbers from 1 to 14, so these are all the positive integers, less than n. We want to figure out how many of these are relatively prime. So the multiples of 3 are not. You can cross all those out. And that's true for the multiples of 5 as well. The multiples of 5 are not. And that leaves us with 8 numbers. This works in general. So if we know that n is the product of two primes. Well, then we could compute the totion of n. It's the number of integers less than n, which is also pq minus 1. That would be all the integers. Then we want to subtract out all the multiples of p that are less than n. And since n is pq, well, there are q minus 1 of those. And then we want to subtract all the multiples of q less than n, which is, again, pq. So there are p minus 1 of those. If we do the algebra, we get pq minus p plus q plus 1, which we could also write as p minus 1 times q minus 1. And since p and q are prime, and this property depended on p and q being prime, otherwise some of these multiples might have collided. Since they're prime, we know they didn't. And that means that we know that the totion of n is equal to the totion of p times the totion of q. This is going to turn out very useful for RSA. And the reason for that is if we know the factors of n, we have an easy way to compute the value of the totion of n. But if we don't know the values of p and q, it appears to be hard to compute the value of the totion of p times q. That's the crux of what the security of RSA relies on. And we'll talk more about that later. For now, we're still focused on correctness.